Hello and welcome gorgeous Cancer to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how Spirit speaks directly to you. Spirit does want to bring through those direct messages. So just take what resonates and leave what doesn't resonate. Let's take a look at your first card. And it is Apophyllite. Stay positive. So this is about mindset. There's an energy surrounding you, supporting you in positive mindset throughout the week ahead. And I feel that there may be a need for upliftment mentally and emotionally because something may be getting you down. There seems to be an energy where you're wanting to have a breakthrough you're wanting to to me this seems like an energy opening you're wanting an energy to open up for you um, this might mean an opportunity opening up for you um, in some way you're really wanting to manifest that but however this resonates for your positive mindset or staying positive about the situation is key and so spirits bringing through this card to to remind you that you actually have a lot of spiritual support especially this week in um in positive upliftment and vibrations so consciously thinking of or being aware of what your thoughts are uh, positive affirmations may help or intentions uh, but you do have immense spiritual support here as well and your second card from this deck is pyrite let the money flow in uh, so stay positive about money and your financials and the areas of life like your career for example that go along with this energy of money flow stay positive because there's going to be a great blessing that's coming when it yeah they're telling me a great blessing when it comes to money when it comes to your finances this will be a surprise though they're showing me this will be a surprise Yes. Okay. So get ready to have what you're wanting to manifest here. It is on the way. It might not come through straight away. It might not show up this week, but if you are able to maintain this positive energy, if you're able to maintain an openness to this breakthrough, to this expansion that spirit is wanting for you, then you'll start to see it over the coming weeks, the coming months. So I love that. Let's take a look here at this deck of cards for you. Guidance for Cancer, please, Spirit. Angels and Guides, bring through a message for Cancer. This one here, I feel, is yours. Layla. Spend time alone in nature, meditating about your desires and intentions. Ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective. So again... We have the message of positive perspective, stay positive, whether it's about uh, finances or another area of your life. It's so important to stay on the positive side of things. Spending time alone may help meditating, connecting into your true desires and intentions. Listening to your heart and your intuition is key this week. Bridget. Caution is warranted. Look deeper into this situation before uh, before proceeding further. So there's a need to be cautious and to be discerning in your judgment. Look deeper into a situation if you feel intuitively that it might not be right for you or whatever the feeling is, whatever the intuition is. Before proceeding, check. Check with your heart, check with your intuition, and maybe look deeper, do some more research or whatever you need to do um, about this situation or with this situation before you proceed. Guidance for Cancer, please. Spirit, angels, and guides, bring through a message for Cancer, please. All right, this one here is yours. Mindfulness peaceful presence and quiet mind this is this is a powerful energy it might seem very simple or basic to bring your mind into the present moment um, but 
it's going to be incredibly powerful. So of course you may access this energy through meditation or a spiritual practice. It might be through a certain activity, but whatever it is, quiet your mind. There'll be a peaceful presence. This is how you'll gain perspective. This is how you'll gain the more positive perspective, the greater perspective, the higher perspective of the situation. Journey guide, travel and change in location may be on the way for you very soon. So you may in fact be traveling very soon, perhaps this week or it's coming up. Maybe you're planning for it or something out of the blue may come and offer may come um, and it's to do with traveling or a change in location. So you might be moving home, house, you might be um, changing your job and, and moving location in that way. There seems to be a shift happening here in terms of where you'll be physically. So let's see what this deck reveals. Guidance for Cancer, please, Spirit. Angels and Guides, ring through a message for Cancer. Okay. This one here, financial constraints. Well, isn't this interesting? Because we have let the money flow, stay positive about it. So this might be... Um, very important to you at the moment, there might be restrictions, you're looking for a breakthrough, you're looking for a great blessing financially or materially in your life, which may also mean health uh, because of a physical body, but, you know, place this energy where it fits for you, something that's very tangible in your life, um, especially possessions, finances, or your job or something like this that is linked to your income. So there may be some constraints on you. Spirit's acknowledging that. The temple path, beautiful card to come after this one because it means that there's going to be a pathway forward that you are shown and to access this information, um, it's about following your heart. Also be cautious as well and discerning in your decisions, meditating, spending time alone. Perhaps there's a link in here with journeying travel as well guidance for cancer please spirit angels and guides bring through a message for cancer please the magician i love this for you because it means that you will have the ability to create it is the card of great creation you have everything whether you realize it or not in front of you to utilize to move toward your goal or manifestation or whatever your creation is you are a manifester i love that now strength is leo's card so you may have a leo in this situation or in your life in an important way the angel of courage so this is about looking at your fears looking at what scares you what is frightening um, what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are and having courage to move forward the queen of pentacles the key word here is comfort so i i sense you might be looking for this you want comfort in a relationship or in your finances perhaps because we have this energy of material things coming into focus but the queen of pentacles is such a wonderful card because it suggests you're going to receive this you will be able to create or receive the comfort that you need the two of pentacles it might be a juggling act at the moment in some way juggling juggling two things you're trying to keep things going but it might be more difficult as time goes on so perhaps a choice needs to be made between these two things the star is aquarius as card so you may have an aquarius in your life perhaps and it is the angel of hope so maintain a hopeful situation um is going to come your way because i do see cancer that there is a great blessing here whether it resonates for you in terms of money finances stay positive no matter what this situation is that that's been on your mind that you've been worried about it is on the way the star is also a destiny card so there is an upliftment there's a destiny there is a temple path there's a pathway forward that you're going to find that's really perfect for you 
there may be an important partnership, the two of cups, an important partnership in romance, in business, in life in some way that you have or are going to form. You're thinking alike, you have the same um, goals or there is support emotionally. Beautiful. Okay, let's take a look now at the pendulum. If you have a question you'd like to ask Spirit through the pendulum, you're quite welcome to think of that question now. And the answer is yes. So check in with your intuition. See if this resonates for you or not. You can trust your own instincts with this. It's been wonderful to read for you today. I hope you have a fantastic week. I hope spirit has come through clearly for you with the messages you need to hear. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.